All right, YouTube. So uh, this is temporary chassis for my beetle weight robot. Um, unsuccessful weapons test the other day. Um, John, take care of some stuff to fix that. Order a new timing belt for the spinning blade. But uh, I have a longer belt right here. I extended this out. Right now, I'm just going to do a weapon test on the uh, the motor. See if you can take three minutes of. Uh, constant turning uh, with the full load on the on the saw blade so I'll go ahead and take this turn on my switch Keep in mind, this is uh, with a very loose belt. This is just see if it can take three minutes of constant uh, power. For the full load. Motor's still cool to the touch. You can see a lot of this uh, rubber residue from wearing on the teeth of the timing belt. It's, it's, uh, like I said, the belt was some one I had spare laying around. It didn't have the full capacity of uh, the full amount of teeth needed. These are the mounting holes for the bearing blocks for the um, shaft for the weapon. But uh, see how it all works out. I already ordered the new shaft. They should be, I mean, the new shaft, the new, uh, new timing belt that should come in next week sometime, hopefully before the holiday. Hopefully it ships out before the holiday at least. Um, order a new uh, drivetrain because it broke one of the gearboxes. Uh, 
gears in here. Um, probably never going to use uh, plastic gears again. I'm not expecting these to uh, last throughout the competition in August. Um, I think the only thing that's going to probably last um, is the uh, speed controllers that I have and of course the uh, Wyachi Robotics um, power switch. Uh, I need to find a shop that will take a small order to get this shaft hardened because right now it's, uh, it's, it's steel but it's not hardened. Um, these are titanium shafts for the drive though, so those should probably last. I need to properly uh, put in these bearing blocks to support them. These ones are in straight. This sh got shifted um, slightly when I mounted it, and that's what caused it to break one of the um, one of the gears. It just clicks. I uh, stripped it. I think I could show it. Right there. That one's stripped. Um, for my next beetle weight, I'll probably use some um, some some timing belts. Just do uh, one motor per each one, well, per each side, and then do a timing belt to do a four wheel drive on that. Um, but at least successfully, it didn't uh, the motor didn't burn up. Um, the smoke from last time, I mean the motor's still working fine, so the smoke from the first failure where the timing belt was too tight, uh, that's probably just the varnish coming off on the internals on the brushed motor. So, probably would have a spare motor um, before the tournament, but uh, um, should be fine, but I'll have a spare on hand. Uh, have a spare battery, and uh, have several one uh, 130 motors, so that should be okay. Um, I'm not expecting the speed controller for the motor to burn up. She couldn't hurt to order another one. Um, I have a spare receiver, but I doubt that's going to be able to use that because if my receiver goes out during a competition, unless it's a uh, after I already started not to the other guy to get incapacitated and he's already being counted out, I probably won't end up using it. I do have a spare speed controller though that's for uh, for drive. I do have a, it's not as good as this one though. This is a Pulalu T-Rex. Um, my spare one is a uh, Sabertooth. Um, puts out 12 amps per motor. Um, so We'll see how it all works out. Um, yeah, at least I was successful this time. Um, when I get my new timing belt in, I'll do a, another upload with a complete timing belt with the proper proper weapon test, and um, I order along with the new gearbox, so uh, drivetrain should be operational then too. Um, so I'll do a chassis test drive video, and then hopefully after that, I'll be able to do, uh, show a video with the armor mounted on.